name's Cole, um, and this is my 2007 Forerunner. It's the SR5 package, four-wheel drive. Starting in the front, we have Coastal Off-Road front bumper that I built from the kit, and it's powder coated with BK01 paint. For lights, I have Amazon pod lights, um, and then headlights, I have the Spec D halos. They work great. Wheel tire suspension setup. I have Pro Comp rims, 17 inches with 285, 17, 70, 17 tires and Bilstein OME lift kit setup. I have the 885 springs in the front paired with the Bilstein 5100s. Going towards the back, we have the 4x Innovations rock sliders that I also built from the kit. They hold up great. In the back, I have the Bilstein OME as well. I have the 995s in the rear. Should, I think they're like the medium weight springs. They work great. For armor in the back, we have the True North Fabrications rear bumper that I also built from the kit. And a full size spare with the spare tire swing out. I have the carpeted platform with the two pull out drawers. This left one is my kitchen stuff, everything I need to cook. Pans, pots, spatula. This right side is my tools. Sawzall, impact, toolbox, socket set, everything I need in terms of tools. Here is my bed and the rest is kind of just free for all. What's up guys, my name's John. I'm gonna do a quick walk around on my 2004 4th Gen Toyota 4Runner. Starting on the front, we got a Little Beast Fabrication front bumper uh, paired with uh, four pod lights to each side and then a 20 inch bar up front, all Baja designs. Um, the winch, we got a 10,000 pound Smitty built winch. Um, and then we did do, this wasn't the Sport, so we switched it out with the Sport hood. And then uh, we're running 315 7017 Cooper STT Pros on the methods with these uh, low pro TRD caps. And then for suspension, we're running the Dobinson uh, with the Resis uh, along with the SPC upper control arms. Uh, we got RCI bolt on sliders that I just rattle can black. Um, up top, we got a Sherpa roof rack with a Rome box. Uh, and here we just have recovery gear and some air hoses because I have a single ARB air compressor under the hood. Rolling around to the back, uh, there's nothing really much. We got a dirt bike carrier on right now because we're rolling around with the dirt bikes. Uh, for the camping setup, we just have a basic platform with two drawers. Uh, one has the cooking stuff and one has like extra oils and uh, tools and stuff. And then we got a memory foam mattress and then just the rest of the camping stuff. That's basically it. Um, these are our bikes. My bike is a 2000, 2006 CRF 250R. It's the race version. It does, it does the job, it rips. Just put a new tire on the back um, right before I came out here and noticing a huge difference. It's, it's a little bit harder. Over here, this is John's bike. It's a 2005 CRF 250X. This is my 250X. Uh, it's pretty much just the trail version of the race bike. So it's got a kickstand and it's got e start, so I don't always have to kick it. Uh, it's geared a little differently and it's got an extra full press bar along with the headlight and taillight. And that's pretty much it. Besides that, it's stock. Right as I'm editing this video right now, I just wanted to say um, there's going to be a lot more content coming in terms of camping and riding dirt bikes. And as the weather gets better, we're going to start doing some catch and cook fishing videos. And like and subscribe if you want to stick around and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.